Las Vegas Heels represents to us the next generation in uh, physician group advocacy. Uh, they're, they're inclusive and not exclusive. It's about bringing the entire healthcare community together and not just allopathic physicians because it's so much bigger than that. Las Vegas is, a, is an area very similar to Florida. People move to these locations because they feel that they like to have some sort of relaxation, some entertainment, and at the same time, good medical health care. Even though Dr. Benati invented this procedure 30 years ago, or 30 some years ago, still a lot of people are not benefiting from it. So we think by bringing it here, we'll be able to take it to the next level and be able to help many other people that they could use uh, his uh, no, it's procedure. Our goals for the Las Vegas practice, well we know medical tourism is something that Las Vegas Heels has been wanting to uh, fix because uh, we had heard the medical industry um, <laughs> wasn't exactly what they were hoping for and I know they've been trying to bring leading edge technology here and so we've really enjoyed being part of that process and we think that this will increase tourism in the same way that Dr. Benati did in uh, in Florida. You know, people love to come to the warm weather and how great is it that once they have the procedures they can enjoy things like the beach and do fun things. Well, Las Vegas, let's face it, you can go see a show and there's so much excitement here in Las Vegas. So we're thrilled to be able to offer what he does now on the West Coast. The education series was a, was an idea that we came together to uh, brought to Doug to say, look, doctors in Las Vegas need to be educated on on the business of medicine. There are no classes in medical school on business, and doctors are routinely taken advantage of and targeted by people because although they are intelligent, they typically don't have a lot of a lot of business education, and so they're routinely targeted by consultants and people who don't have a lot to offer other than other than bills to send. And so we thought, look, this. This is a chance for us to work with an organization that has the largest uh, collection of physicians in Las Vegas and other healthcare businesses and offer a, offer a regular long-term curriculum to teach them you know, every other week about a different aspect of the business side of medicine. To give back to all Vegas Heals members and what we're able to do is because of the power of membership, the large numbers, I was able to negotiate with multiple carriers so that the doctors are able to, we're, we're generating anywhere from 30 to 50 percent savings with no problem whatsoever. And it, it, it truly is, and it's only eligible for Vegas Hills members. We love Las Vegas Hills. We have a 24 part bi-weekly series that's gonna to cover topics from compliance uh, to finance. Uh, we're leading it off with one that I wrote that I'm gonna deliver about enterprise value because the most important product of a, a doctor is the business, not particularly the service. So we work with them to, uh, you know, for their families and uh, to achieve what their, what their financial and personal goals are. We want to Thank everybody for coming out to the January Healthcare Happy Hour, a grand opening of the Bonatti Spine Institute that recently expanded their practice here from Florida. Uh, it was a great evening. We had about 200 folks in attendance. And it's wonderful to bring world-class uh, spine care right here to Las Vegas, Nevada. Obviously, this is in keeping and in line with our efforts to position Las Vegas to become the world's most globally recognized uh, destination for health and wellness travel. We're very grateful for Bonatti Spine coming out here. Everybody that came out tonight, uh, we will be doing more of these events throughout the year and please go ahead and check out lasvegasheels.org on a regular basis to find out those events and RSVP in advance. We look forward to seeing everybody throughout the year of 2017. Thank you again for those that came out tonight.